many people want to make 2D games today. And maybe even more importantly, many, many people want to play 2D games today. They play great on a PC, on a Mac, on mobile devices, over the web, just everywhere. 2D games are, are just a great way to go. So in the interest of uh, connecting all these people and generating some fun, we have created a tutorial series here on how to get started in making 2D games using Playmaker and Unity 3D. When making a 2D game, you can go really deep into some crazy cool features and you can add as much or as little complexity as you want to. Uh, just a simple stroll through the Unity Asset Store here reveals a whole bunch of really excellent third-party tools for helping you manage and animate sprites. Uh, these can really bring a huge new level to your games. And there's just a lot of options here to choose from, uh, a depending on your needs, a lot of good solutions. But sometimes that's a lot to jump into right away. So this series is going to show you the nuts and bolts, uh, the very beginnings of how you set up 2D inside of a 3D engine. I'm gonna show you how to line up uh, 3D objects so you can put 2D textures on them. I'm going to show you how to animate textures back and forth. We're going to do a lot of good stuff. So I am, of course, in this series, going to be using Unity 3D. Uh, if you're new to it, you can get it at unity3d.com. There's a free version, which does just a ton of stuff. And there's a pro version, which adds even more features if you want. So there it is, unity3d.com. And I'm going to be using a plugin called Playmaker, developed by Hutong Games. And that's where you're seeing these video tutorials right now. Uh, it, it, it does a lot. If you're new to Playmaker, it, uh, it can be called a visual scripting engine. You could think of it as a, uh, a logic tool, as a time saver, as a prototyper, as a rapid app development tool for final shipping. It could do just a lot of good stuff for you. So I'm going to use it to uh, put our sprites in motion, both visually and physically. I'm going to use it for some uh, uh, light gameplay mechanics in here and then of course, there's a whole bunch of other series that go deep into what you can do with Playmaker here. So that will be the primary plugin that I'm using. And I'm going to be using some free art that's been generously donated by Vicki Wunderlich uh, here at VickiWunderlich.com. And she has a whole bunch of free art right here uh, in various styles and genres. So you can download that, use it right away in your own games. Uh, I'm using some of this partially because it it all looks really good, and you can download it and follow along if you'd like. So lots of different genres. There have been games shipped with this, and uh, you know, if you're not a artist, just grab some and go. There's no reason to hold back. You know, don't be proud. Grab grab good art and make a good game. That's what it's about. So here you go, free art from VickiWunderlich.com. In the video series, uh, I'm going to cover a few different things. In the first video. Uh, 2D sprites and sprite sheets. I'm going to talk about how you actually set up a 3D object, uh, how you can think about 2D uh, motion in a 3D space. I'm going to show how to apply textures, how to make sure they're lined up right. A couple different strategies because you might want to do your texture application differently depending on uh, if you're doing static or animated sprites. I'm going to show you how to make sprite sheets using a program called Texture Packer. Uh, and uh, how to put it all together. So that's video number one. Video number two, animating sprites using Playmaker and use Unity 3D. Uh, I'm going to uh, set up a little fly animation and have him move around. We'll give him some left-right motion. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, an explosion using 2D sprites, and that's something you'd even use in 3D games. You see them all over the place, so that's useful everywhere. Uh, then in video number three, player-controlled sprite motion. I'm going to show you how to make a little tank. We're gonna put this tank together, make it move in four directions. It's gonna go up, down, left, right, and shoot a bullet and destroy things. So pretty, pretty good solid gameplay right there. In the fourth video, I'm gonna show you some alternate control approaches so that you can uh, set up a few different ways to move your sprites around, uh, both player controlled and random and AI controlled, various things you can do there. So that's just a good approach. That will be a great nuts and bolts cover to get you making 2D games right now using Playmaker and Unity 3D and have you totally ready to move on to uh, even more advanced solutions like some of those third party ones that are out there, which will totally integrate with Playmaker. You, can, you don't have to replace one with the other. You can build here and then add on later. Playmaker is great about working with other applications. And I'll talk towards the end of the series um, a little bit more about how that's done. So let's get to it.